everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. All right, today's topic is, are you attracting the same type of man over and over and over? All right, before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions. And I will either answer them privately through the email or I will share them online with the collective and it can be your decision. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store and you'll find a link in the description. Now it's time for our daily affirmation. And we do these affirmations to help with our spiritual growth. And these affirmations also help to reprogram the way that you think about yourself. And here it is. I am making myself a priority and taking care of me. I am making myself a priority and taking care of me. Now, ladies, many times we make everything in our lives a priority except ourselves. This affirmation is telling you to make yourself the priority. I am making myself a priority and taking care of me. Let this affirmation be a blessing to you today. Okay, now it's time for movement. And we do the movements just to get our blood circulating. All right, today we're going to do a simple neck movement. We're going to do two and five of each. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit up straight and just bring it forward and up. And that's one. Okay. If you can, if you're able to, let your chin kind of touch here on your chest. All right. All right. Let's go. One. Two. Sit up straight now. Three. Four. And one more. Five. All right. How does that feel? Okay. Now let's go this way. Up and down. Okay. Five times now. Here we go. And down. Look up. And down. Look up. This is three. Look up. This is four. And one more. Look up. And five. Okay. We just want to loosen up those neck muscles. Okay. Let's dive into the message today. Are you attracting that same type of man over and over and over? All right. I did pull a video. Let's watch the video. And then we're going to talk about this issue. Okay. If you want to attract a certain thing in life, it doesn't matter what you want to manifest, whether it be relationship, whether it be wealth or career, it's very important to understand that everything starts from thought. My question to you is, on a conscious level and an unconscious level, what is going through your head on a daily basis? This cannot just be something where, oh, it's a morning routine. Because what about the rest of the day? You don't just manifest in the mornings. You manifest all of the time. So what is going through your head all the time? Is there a lot of clutter going on? If there is, then you must declutter, cleanse that mind, calm the mind, and purify it so that it is aligned 
very much aligned towards the goals that you want to manifest into your life. Because why? What you think and you continuously think, the emotions will build up. When the emotions build up, the vibrations become strong. Then you become the thing that you want to attract. That's how you attract what you want. You will always attract what you think, I swear. Once you establish yourself as a business-minded or independent person, people like that will come out of nowhere. And that's just the universe reminding you that when you see something beautiful and amazing about yourself, others will see it in you too. This is a very familiar topic to me because for a long time in my life, I was attracting the same type of man with just a different face. But in the relationship, it was the same thing over and over and over. And I couldn't figure it out. You know, with different people, it should be different. But what was happening is that I was attracting that same energy back to me. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. You see, you jump out of one relationship and if you have not healed that energy, you're going to attract another person with that same energy right back to you until you heal it. And then you can move on to new energies. See, this is what a lot of people just don't understand. You attract who you are inside more than who you are on the outside. It's inside. It's the energy that you are putting out. It's what you are attracting. And uh, you can look at your relationships and see what is it that you are attracting. And on many times what we want to do, we want to blame the people. You know, he, he just wasn't any good and I'm, I'm going to find me somebody else. And then when you go out with someone else, you get the same results because you are attracting the same energy. It's all spiritual. It's all energy. And once you understand that, see, this will help you make better decisions in your life when you realize that it's energy. If you want your reality to change, you have to be the one to change, not the other person. We spend too much time trying to mold other people into what we desire. It doesn't work. What they do is pretend that they're being molded to your desire when they really are not. You can't change another person. But what you can change is yourself. You have the power to change yourself. And this way you will be attracting a different sort of energy. You attract what you are. Inside, what you are is the energy that you are putting out all the time. And that energy will attract your match to it. It attract your match. Now, if you are attracting the same type of man every time, he may look different. He may even be a different race. But it turns out it's the same thing every time. It's because of the energy that you are putting out. What we want to do is blame the other people for our own misery, for what they are doing to us. You know, why are you like this? You don't have to settle for it because it's all about you. And this is what is so important for you to understand. It is about you. I want to recommend a book. And I've recommended this book before, but I believe that this book is really helpful with this topic. Are you attracting the same type of man every time? This book is, you'll see it when you believe it. And it's by my favorite author, Dr. Wayne Dyer. All right, and you, I believe, I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon. It may be a different packaging because I bought this years ago. But um, you will see it when you believe it. See, it's, it's about the way that you think about things. And the affirmations we do every day really help to reprogram the way that you think about things. 
Dr. Zaya says, live the life you've always wanted. Make your most impossible dreams come true. Turn obstacles into opportunities. Rid yourself of guilt and inner turmoil. Spend every day doing the things you love to do. All right. So check this book out. Uh, I'm sure that you will find that it is quality information that will help you better your life and help you to realize that you have so much power in your thoughts and your beliefs. So if you go around believing that all men are a certain way, then you will attract all men that are this certain way. It's the way that you think. It's what you believe. And whatever you believe is coming out in your energy. So if you want something better in life, then you need to change the way that you think about life. And this information will help with your relationships because I wanted you to understand that it's possible for you to attract what you desire. But be clear about what you desire. If you're sitting around and every time you think of a man, you you want him to have a big fancy car. You'll meet a man with a big fancy car. But he may not be the man that treats you nice. Because of the energy that you're putting out. Be what you desire. This is what I want you to understand. When you manifest something, it's yours. And there's nothing fleeting because you didn't receive it through deception or anything like that. You manifested it from the energy that you put out into the universe. All right? And when it came back to you, it belongs to you. But if you go out and you deceive someone to get the things that you desire, it won't last because you gather it through deception. And things will be taken away from you to balance that all out. Karma. It will come back to balance it all out. That's why it's important for you to be true to yourself. And to be authentic to yourself. You don't have to keep attracting the wrong type of men in your life. If you desire the right man for you. Ask. Ask for it. But write it down. Write down all the specifics that you desire in the man that you desire. And you can either put it somewhere that you can see it all the time or, or put it away and forget about it. And then start working on yourself. Don't be out here looking for the man to match up with what you wrote down. Don't do that. Let it go. Forget about it. And work on yourself, on your own spiritual growth. And when you least expect it, the man of your desires will appear in your life. This is the way it works. All right? Now, if you are attracting the same type of man, you're probably not on your spiritual journey. So you haven't changed your energy. That's why you're still attracting the same type of man you've always attracted. And you're learning to settle for it because you're used to it. You don't think you can do better. That's why I encourage you to love yourself. Come back to yourself and quit making other people a priority. Now, ladies, I know uh, many of you will say, but I'm lonely. I'm lonely. Well, that's because you're not on your spiritual journey. If you are on your spiritual journey, you won't be lonely. You will realize that you are whole within yourself. You really don't need another person to feel whole. All right. And that's where you want to be. You don't want to be a codependent in a in a relationship. You want to be independent in a relationship. You want to be strong and independent. And you want your partner to be strong and independent. 
This way together, it makes the couple more powerful than one leaning on the other one or one leaning on the other one. It just makes the foundation weaker. You want to love yourself and work on yourself to be strong and independent. And you will attract that. Because that will be the energy that you're putting out. That's who you are. So you will attract who you are. And as you continue to ascend, you will attract others who are on that level. But when you meet people that are on a lower vibration, don't be attracted by it because it will take you back down into it. Don't be attracted by those in a low vibration. And many times there'll be exes calling you up out of the blue. Oh, what's happening? I was thinking about you. I thought maybe we'd get together again. No. Don't go back. Because it will bring you back up down into the low vibrations. Continue to ascend. And this is the way that you attract what you desire in life. Keep your focus on being better. On doing better. On providing for yourself, on being independent, on being confident. Keep let that be your focus in life. And your mate on your level will be attracted to who you are. I, you know, I get letters all the time. A ladies ask me, Well, how do I find my perfect mate? Well, you can find your perfect mate where you are right now. It he'll be perfect. To the energy that you are putting out right now. Okay. That's your perfect mate. So now you look and you see that. And you say no. I want something better. This, this is not really what I desire. It should tell you. That you got to go inside. And heal some wounds. To be better. So that you can attract better. Ladies. This is what I'm telling you. Now, <clears throat> I'm speaking to you from a standpoint of that you are not basing your perfect mate on what he has, on his material gain. Because if that's what you desire, then you, <laughs> you can certainly have that, but it doesn't guarantee that you're going to have a happy life. Because it's shallow. It's all based on material. Okay? So these things are what you need to have in your mind. You actually can manifest what you desire. Once you know the formula. And the formula is that you have to be what you desire. Alright? You have to be it. I hope that the message today really helps someone, and I really hope that you understand it. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here is the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World, yt at hotmail.com. That's Miss Faye's World, yt at hotmail.com. And try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of your letter and I will comply. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. And to show my appreciation, I will be giving away a deck just like this one to one of you lucky subscribers once this channel hits 100,000 and every day we get a little closer this is a 53 oracle card deck of I am affirmations and I will announce the name of the winner right here on the channel so keep watching and good luck to all of you I want to thank you so much for your comments and your letters and a special thank you to those that leave a donation i appreciate all of you and i wish you all the very best 
and I really hope to see you next time.